Okay, in uh, hemoc physiology, let's talk about hemoglobin electrophoresis. This is really good to understand, okay? Normally, we have an AA, normal adult. We have the negative cathode and we have the positive cathode, right? So let's start reading from here. During gel electrophoresis, hemoglobin migrates from uh, the negative side towards the positive side. From negative charged cathode to a positive charged cathode. Anode, my bad. HBA migrates the furthest. Look in HBA. Nothing is touching HBA because this is the furthest. Followed by an HBF. This is the second position, HBF, followed by HBS. Uh, where is HBS? Is it the sickle trait? Yes, HBS. Okay, and then HBC. This is because, and why is why do we have all of this first position, second position, third position? Because the missense mutation in HBS and C replaced the glutamic acid, which is a negative charge, with a valine, which is a neutral charge, and lysine, which is a positive charge, respectively. So in HBS, you have the glutamic acid which is replaced with the valine oh, and in HBC you have the glutamic acid negative which is replaced by the lysine making HBC and S more positive than the other uh, more positive charge than HBA so who has more positivity the HBC and S. So, uh, so negative uh, no, opposite charges attract. So if you have a negative and a positive, they're gonna attract each other. And like charges repel. So because we have the anode here, and we in the HBC and S, we have the positive there too. So they cannot be the, f they cannot get the first position. They cannot come at the f furthest. They, they cannot come in very close proximity to each, uh, the positive charge. So that's why they are not the first to come there. But the normal has the ability to come as close. So that's just on the gel electrophoresis. Uh, <coughs> let's talk about this thing. Mnemonic is a fat Santa Claus. Can't cathode go far? So a fat Santa Claus can't go far. Uh, okay, how? Let's read. Uh, we have the HBAs. IA Fanta, HBF, Santa, S, and C clause can go far so that's the uh, the numbering the first second and third fourth if you look at a that's the normal hemoglobin beta chain hba adults and look i mean this picture might have been confusing a little bit these are all the A, A, A portions. And look at the thickness. A, A, the whole, both of them are here. Just A is here and F is here. This is F, this is A. This is A, this is S. And here, this is, we don't even have an A, that's why we have no line. This is S, S. And we have A and we have C, E. We have C, C. And we have here, we have S, C. So this line is just the A line. Okay. Now it makes sense, right? 
A F S C. So the way you can also think about C S F A, C S F A for adults or something A. Or you already know the A it has to be up here, right? So we mean A. I mean, even if you don't know that A, you know it. A is way up. The so the mnemonic is either that crappy mnemonic, or if it's if you could remember by the uh, knowing that fat Santa Claus, great, you can. But CSF is the other way to go. Both are good. Okay, <coughs> moving on with the N D globular testing.